What's up, bros? Adventure Bro, back at it again with another episode of the Adventure Bro Show. And today we got one mission. We're gonna get some white bass. This thing needs to all be over 10 inches, so wish us luck. Here we go, bros. bros here we are on the water and we haven't got a bite just yet however we are just getting to the spot where we were tearing them up last time so hopefully any moment now one of these two rods number one and two are gonna go off and you'll hear that good old bait clicking sound I got one now. I got one now, bros. Let's slow it down. And I got two. I got two on. There we go. One in the boat. And there was another one that hit this. When I was reeling it in, I think he swam. Yep, 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 yep. We're on him now. We're on him now. I just picked up two. These should both measure out. Those were both back to back, bros. Check that out. Let's measure them up. I know that one's a keeper. This is the only one that I have a question about. And he's not a keeper. He's too small. That one is a keeper. So we got our first fish on the stringer. Well, bros, the run may be over. We only got four bites. Two of them, they came unhooked before I could get them in and two of them bit at the exact same time. And we got both of those in. One was undersized. He flipped himself off the boat. And we got this one keeper that I guess will do a catch cleaning cook. So here we go. Okay, bros, today we're gonna give you a quick and easy rundown of how to fillet a white bass using the bubble blade with you. It's all still on the stringer. We've got our stinky pan stringer and easy release off the stringer. You just pull this up, release the float, and slide your fish off. So, first thing we're gonna do is take our knife and come behind these two uh, fins, all right? You're gonna flip that fish around Gonna get down to that backbone, and I'm just gonna go all the way across, okay? All right, that's one of the guys right there. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Cut through those bones. 
and that's our other piece. All right. Now we've got our fillet. Just gonna take it here, come inside, and grab that skin. Boom, just like that. That's our skin. Repeat with the other piece. Get that skin, get the grip on it. And there we have it. And these two pieces are about to get cooked. All right, bros, welcome to the kitchen. Here we have our two fillets of white bass, and we're gonna prepare them two ways. So first we've got this homemade blackened seasoning mixture. These are gonna be all the ingredients that I have. Uncle Chris's gourmet fish seasoning. Of course, a lot of paprika. We've got slap your mama. And then of course, my man, Cayenne. Our pan cast iron should be heated up right now on medium uh, low heat. So what we're gonna do is just take this filet, lay it down in there, turn it over, do the same thing, give it a shake, and we're gonna go right into the pan. That's gonna be it for our blacken. And once we get this a good sear on both sides, We'll batter, add more oil once we take this piece out, and then throw this guy in the fry. Let's go ahead and give this guy a flip. That's exactly what you're wanting to see right there. Now let's add this up. Alright, this piece looks done. Let's check the other side. And that's what you're looking for right there. Now we're gonna Add a little bit more oil and get it up to temperature and fry this piece. All right, this oil seems to have come to heat. And here we go. We can cut our heat. Check that out, bros. I'm gonna get this thing plated up on something real nice. And there we have it, bros. White bass two ways. Fry and blacken. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy some of this for you. Here goes a piece of the fry. That's a good snack. This piece right here is gonna be really good though. I really like this blackened seasoning. And this bread is awesome as well. Mm-hmm. Check it out. All right. Well, bros, I'm gonna get back to enjoying the rest of that food. I appreciate it if you like this video. Just press the like button. 
it would mean a lot to me. Be on, be on the lookout for some more amazing adventures featuring Adventure Bro of the Adventure Bro Show. We'll see you next time. Peace out, bros. I would have to say that the best one was fried. Everything here is fried. <laughs>